This is the fourth in a series of tutorials about how to use ImageJ. In this video tutorial, we will use ImageJ's manual and automatic count features to measure common horticultural data. We will automatically measure the number of germinated seeds by counting the number of seeds with the merged radicals. We will manually count strawberry flowers and fruits. We will automatically count Arabidopsis leaves and measure the area for each leaf. And finally, we will automatically count the number of corn seeds spread on the table. Let's import the image for this example. Go to File, Open, and navigate to the image. You can also drag and drop the image from onto the ImageJ toolbar. This is a photograph of cucumber seeds sewn in an acrylic tray. The photograph was taken using an iPhone 7 smartphone. In this example, we will automatically measure the number of germinated seeds by counting the number of seeds with emerged radicals using the automatic count feature in ImageJ. Click the rectangle tool on the graphical user interface. Select the smallest rectangle possible around the seeds in the tray. Go to Image, Crop. Next go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold to select the radical area. Hue, saturation, and brightness are color threshold parameters, and we will need to adjust them to select the desired area by threshold. In this image, hue from between 0 and 255, um, saturation between 0 and 25, and brightness between 220 and 255 works well. Go ahead and click on Select. Go to Process, Binary, Make Binary, to convert the color image to a binary image. Use the Paintbrush tool to remove large clusters of pixels that are not seedling radicals. This step is easiest when comparing the binary image to the original. Go ahead and open that up again. Go ahead and double click the paintbrush tool. Fill in 100 brush width, um, white for the color, and make sure the paint on overlay box is unchecked. Then click on OK. Go ahead and erase the pixel clusters that are not emerged radicals. We're going to have to um, go to Analyze and um, Set Measurements and select Area and um, Limit to Threshold and go ahead and click on OK. Then we're going to select the um, Rectangle tool again and we're going to select the area of the smallest emerged radical which is right here. Um, then we're going to go to um, Analyze and uh, measure, or um, and we can also do Control M um, to measure the radical area. Um, now we're going to go ahead and, and deselect that. Then we're going to go to um, Analyze, Analyze Particles, and we're going to count the number of seed with emerged radicals. Um, since we know the smallest pix pixel cluster we want is um, 53 pixel clusters based on the measurement we just made. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill in 53 on the bottom. Um, the circularity option um, excludes pixels by roundness by setting the minimum and maximum circularity. Um, zero is not round at all and one is perfect um, circle. We're going to leave the circularity default setting which is the complete range. Um, in the show option we're going to um, choose the outlines option because it creates a visual output which assigns a visible number to each pixel cluster for easy identification. Now we're going to go ahead and um, click OK.
the number of seeds with emerged radicals is in the summary table under the count column um, for the sake of measurement. If we wanted to figure out the number, we could just go ahead and record this value right here. For this example, we're going to use the Fiji version of image J to count the number of strawberry fruits and flowers in a photograph of strawberry plants in the field. You will import the image by dragging the image onto the ImageJ graphical user interface. Um, this photograph was taken using a compact digital camera, in this case a Sony DSC RX100, in the middle of a cloudy day. In this example, we will count the number of strawberries turning red, the number of unripe white strawberries, and the number of flowers in the photograph. We will use one of um, Fiji's manual count plugins. Go ahead and go to Plugins. Analyze, cell counter, cell counter. It's going to open up a little cell counter window. Um, we have a lot of different counters right now, so we're just going to go ahead and um, click remove a few times until we only have three. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click initialize. Um, that means that we can start counting. We're going to click counter type one. Um, we're going to start with the red fruit. So um, go ahead and click some of these fruit. Okay, um, now we're going to go on to um, type 2, click on the white fruit. Um, now if you notice there's actually kind of like an obvious red fruit that I kind of missed from earlier. Um, if we miss any fruit from a um, set of categories, we can always go back. I'm going to go back to um, counter type 1 and I'm going to select that. Now, if I make a selection where um, it's just kind of like obviously an inappropriate selection, like right over here, I can go ahead and go onto delete mode and then um, click it and it will delete it and then un uncheck the delete mode to go back to normal again. Uh, finally, we're also going to count the number of flowers. So that's counters type 3. Go ahead and click that. And then um, now that we've made all our accounts, we can easily transfer the count results from ImageJ to another program like Excel by um, clicking on the results. And then we can go ahead and select that and copy it. And we can put that wherever we want. Um, if we wanted to uh, export the image with the numbers on it, uh, we can go ahead and um, click Export Image and then uh, File. Um, save as, maybe TIFF, you know, whatever it is that we want. And then um, that does save a version of the image with the numbers. They're pretty small, so you have to kind of zoom in to see them, but they are there. For this example, we will automatically count the number of leaves in the area of each leaf for a scanned image of Arabidopsis leaves. Um, first, let's open the image by um, dragging the image onto the graphical user interface. Um, this picture was taken um, with indoor lighting um, using a Canon EOS Digital Rebel. Uh, image J labels objects in the order of the um, upper left to the lower right corner. And in light of that, the leaves in the image are arranged, so ImageJ will count them row by row in order. This eliminates the need to resort the data later. Um, we begin processing this image by setting scale. Um, for accurate image calibration, we need a large reference object of known size near the object of interest. The ruler in this image matches that description. Go ahead and select the straight line tool. We're going to draw a line along the length of the ruler. So there we go, I got it selected. And then we're going to um, zoom out again. I'm going to put it up to like the, the 10 mark in this case. Next we're going to go to um, Analyze, uh, Set Scale. Um, we're going to set the distance to the line. We're going to fill in um, 10 for known distance and centimeter for unit of length. Um, we're going to keep global unchecked. When the global option is checked, the same image calibration will be applied to images that will be imported subsequently. 
Um, we use this option when the same image needs to be imported multiple times to perform different sets of image analysis, or when all images in a set have the same scale. In this case, this is the only image with this scale, um, and set scale must be done again for subsequent images. So we're just going to go ahead and click OK with the global unchecked. Um, go ahead and click on the rectangle tool. Um, and select the smallest rectangle around the leaves. Um, then we're going to go to image and crop. Um, then we're going to go to um, image, adjust, color threshold. Um, and we're going to select the leaf area by thresholding. Um, in this image, we're going to need um, hue between 30 and um, 135. We're going to need um, saturation between 0 and 255. And then we're going to need um, brightness between um, 80 and 255. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click Select. Um, then we're going to go to um, process, binary, make binary, to convert the color image to a binary image. And then um, analyze, analyze particles, to count the leaves and to measure the individual area of each leaf. Um, we're going to enter um, 0.1 to infinity uh, for size, 0 to 1 for circularity, and um, in this case show outlines. Um, and we're going to leave the pixel box unchecked. Um, we started the um, size from point 0.1 so that we could exclude some of the little particles that are not the leaves. Um, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Um, now we can record the desired information from the, um, the summary and results table. Um, the results table will have the um, area of each leaf and um, if you scroll in on the image um, each leaf is numbered based on the um, outlines output um, so here we can go to results and we can copy all of that and put it into um, Excel if we want to. In this example, we will count the total number of corn seeds in a photograph of corn seeds spread on a table using the automatic count feature in image J. Let's drag the image onto the graphical user interface in order to open it up. Uh, this photograph was taken using an LG H74 smartphone. Go to image, adjust, color threshold. In this case, a hue between 0 and 55, a saturation between 0 and 255, and brightness between um, 90 and 255 looks pretty great. Go ahead and select. Next to go to um, process, binary, make binary. Convert the color image to a binary image. Uh, go to um, process binary watershed to add a single pixel line between all of the, um, the seeds, um, or in this case, all the pixel clusters in general. Um, now we're going to count the seeds next, but in order to do that, we need to figure out. Um, the size of the, uh, like the minimum size that we want for the, for counting the pixel clusters. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a scouting analyze particles. Um, so we're just going to include the total range for everything, um, outlines per show so that we have um, numbered pixel clusters and go ahead. Um, we're going to recruit the help of um, Microsoft Excel for this next step. Just go and open a new file, a new blank workbook. Okay, and 
minimize that for a second. Um, now the results table has um, the number of pixel area for every um, every pixel on our um, outlines image. So we're just going to um, copy that, Control C, and paste it into our Excel document, um, and call this num, call this area. And um, in the Home tab under um, Sort and Filter, just go ahead and select Filter. And um, with the caret on the right, um, Sort Ascending. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for um, uh, just kind of like a, a section that has like a gap in the area. Um, so you have a lot of like one, two, three pixels um, stuff and it starts to climb and then right here we see that um, it makes a jump from 50 to 574 and then um, again from 948 to um, 1331 uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the um, the area 1331 um, we're going to look for number 1731 in order to do that let's go ahead and zoom on this image um, image J counts from the upper left to the lower right, so we're just going to um, like assume that. Once again, we're looking for um, 1731. Um, so we're kind of looking from from like a top-down sort of perspective. We know that this is kind of like the the latitude of the 1331, so we're just going to see if there's anything that looks kind of suspiciously small in this latitude. There we have it. This is a 1331. Sometimes Imache splits the seeds. So um, this is looking like actually if we do um, bigger than this, we'll mostly just be getting seeds. So we're going to um, we're going to use that as our, our lower value, 1331. Um, then we're going to do this again. There we go. We're going to Analyze, analyze particles, um, size and pixels, lower value, 1331. Uh, everything else can be the same. And now, according to image J, we have 1,099 seeds, which um, seems about right, honestly. This concludes our tutorial about counting manually and automatically with ImageJ, the fourth in our series of ImageJ tutorials for those who are keeping track. Hopefully we will have another tutorial for you soon, and thank you so much for your attention for this one.